Hey, Tony. Hey, Saul. What's going on? Eh, well, the label reached out. They want us to, uh, put out some behind-the-scenes footage on the new single. Truth? Yeah. Oh. How you feeling about that? Yeah, I don't know. I'm not really sure I want to revisit the birth of that song again, you know? Yeah. I feel like it's just gonna peel off another layer of my soul. It was seven years of my life, you know? Yeah. How do you explain that in a five-minute video? I don't know. I just don't know if I want to tear those scars open again. Yeah, well, just do what feels right for you, you know? Yeah. Oh, it's raining out. Yeah. It's still a sad day. They know I'm going to sing a ballad. Yeah, it's raining for you. The sky is crying. Yeah. This whole situation went down right in the middle of the recording process of our new record, Lighting Up the Sky. After my relationship ended, we had to stop the entire session for like six months or so because I needed time to heal. Then, of course, returning back to the home in Florida and being surrounded by all these memories of this shattered relationship, I found myself once again leaning on music to help me heal. This whole place was built with the intention of us having a life together here. This is the moment, your morning. It'll be with you forever, but it'll fade. Right now it's still raw, so of course. It's raw, yeah. it's raw. <clears throat> I can't believe it's still fucking raw, but you know, it still is. I would just sit in a room at times in this trance-like state, pedaling this hypnotic loop on my guitar. And of course, you know, thinking about everything, it just started unlocking all these raw, extremely vulnerable feelings and words that I hadn't even allowed myself to speak out loud yet. Why'd you cross that line and destroy my life? I can't even sing this without getting emotional. I'm not ready to sing that one yet, man. It was fucking painful, man. Being betrayed by someone you love so much. It's gonna come out sooner or later, right? Yeah. yeah. It's never, never fun getting, uh, Betrayed. No, of course not. It's just, uh, but you know, I sit there and I look at my own life and how many times I wronged somebody and uh, it's just, <laughs> just part of the, the karma that comes back. You can tell me that you tried. But you told me as you said. Goodbye. Writing the first Godsmack record happened the exact same way. I learned to be a songwriter through that agonizing journey I went through back then when I was in a relationship and I did the wrong thing. And so here we are again. Ten albums later, karma comes knocking at my fucking door. And that one just came out one day when I was in the house on the couch, you know? I was fucking feeling like shit. I had the guitar and I was just doing that thing, <laughs> like, a, like hypnotically, and then I just started, and then words started. It happened really quick. I'm, I finished the whole thing in like maybe less than an hour. Once I was back in the studio with the guys, you know, I was pretty busted wide open. But I found myself surrounded by the strength and the support of my band and this brotherhood that we share, especially when times are tough. We just know how to rally. But there's one loyal companion that I can always count on, especially in times like these, 
which is my music. It really is my therapy when shit hits the fan. It healed me back then just like it's healing me now. Everybody's been cheated on. Everyone's been, yeah. And still was in love. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Can't get over things, yeah. damaged from it. <laughs> That's the whole fucking world. Loyalty is something that we all take very seriously, so I felt this overwhelming sense of gratitude, not just for having music in my life, because I truly do believe it's a gift, but also for my band. And Truth is so much more than just another song on this record. It will forever be a reminder to me about the healing power of music. I think we all know that some of the biggest and most beautiful songs in the world have come from dark places. So it's inevitable that this one will be yet another beautiful song carved out of another horrible fucking storm. So why do you cross that line and destroy our lives? Please just say. Because no matter what we go through and how painful life can be at times, there's always a song there waiting to lift us up and heal us a little bit more every day. It will at least carry us through that storm. And that's a gift in itself. I think it's going to be great. Yeah. I think it's going to be amazing. Uh, the rest of your life is going to be amazing. <laughs>